Hello everyone, I'm Jay Bird and you're watching Sala in Trader. There has been request from the member that he wants to understand how to merge two indicator. One is uh, Awesome Oscillator and MACD. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can merge the indicator. But first, I want to highlight to you that you know which indicator you can merge. There are the two things. The one is count on based on your candle volume so that is the first this is considered second it's on your second panel which is rsi mfi tci mscd those are the indicator which you can see here you can merge and those are the indicator like moving average we were all these things or even in uh, bollinger band that everything you see here that you can merge everything you can see on second palette that you can that's why i always say there are the two different parameters so you need to understand that which parameter you can add so in today's video we'll go step by step and see how it is easy to add these two indicator so first if you are new in this channel please subscribe and if you like this video please share among with your friends so first we click over here we type here awesome oscillator this one so this is the first indicator which he wants to know so what we will do because we want to add in this one so i need to open the source Let's click over here source code so this is the things that first you will get it but you can't add it here because this is only read only so what you can do create copy so once you create the copy there will be untitled script you need to save under the name so here you can add plus m a c d merger whichever the name if uh, you wants to put you can just save it once you have these things you need to find MACD code for that you can click on this three dot go over here reference once you click over reference type here MACD this is the one the MACD scroll down this is a simple MACD which we want to copy from here until this close this come back over here enter <coughs> once you click over here save all right now we want to see whether it it works or not so what we will do we'll close this add to chart so now here you can see your both indicator you can see here there is some MACD also but here we can't see because this the color is almost the same so what we can do come back over here this we will change here the color the first I will change here the black color easier okay I'll save so now here you can see there is a back layer second thing <coughs> this orange this we will change to something that like green okay blue color and the red also we will change to the white color okay now save once you come come down i'll change to the smaller time frame so we can see easily <coughs> okay so i'll do zoom <coughs> so as you can see here we simply copy the all the source code and put over here and then you can see the histogram it's in this color you can change this one also if you want to change anything you can go into your setting We'll click here setting this is your setting you can change the color from here also this year <coughs> your histogram if you want to change to the highlighted color you can go over here and change if you want to change the pattern any plus dots or anything you can highlight from this area and on column you can change from here the first one based on the chart one so friends this is the simple way to merge two indicator as per your request and i'm sure that you can do it by yourself so i'm not going to uh, save this indicator and i'm not going to share also because it's very simple one the pine script score is just a copy and paste and you can change the color if you skip the video i'm sure you will have the error you cannot uh, do it by yourself but i'm sure that if you have seen the whole video you can do it by yourself and please if you like this video like and subscribe so you will be with me in the future video thank you have a good day bye bye